This tutorial will show you how and where to upload your images into eDesign. When uploading images to eDesign, there are a few things to keep in mind. Images must be in the JPEG, PNG, TIFF, or EPS format. The images that come from your digital camera will be in the JPEG format by default, so most of the time you won't even have to think about this. PNG, TIFF, and EPS files will typically only apply to specialty graphics that you upload. JPEG is the preferred format for digital images, and it is the JPEG images that will be color corrected by the plant prior to your yearbook being printed. You can upload up to 50 images in one batch. We'll see more about this in a moment. And there is no limit to the number of images that your school can upload to eDesign, but it is a good idea to be a bit selective when uploading. It is best if you don't just upload every picture that was taken of a particular event. Try to select the best images, images that you would most likely use in the book to upload to eDesign. This will save you time if you don't upload lots of photos that you would never use, and it helps you to focus on the best pictures when working on the yearbook pages. When you log into eDesign, navigate to the eDesign library by clicking the Library button along the top. Then go to the Images section of the library by clicking Images along the left-hand side. The Images section of your library contains all of the candid photos that you'll upload to eDesign for use in your yearbook. To upload images, click on the Import Images button along the left-hand side. The Import Images dialog box will open, and you can click Browse to browse out to your computer, your network, or a thumb drive, USB drive, or your digital camera to select images that you would like to upload into eDesign. If you would like to select more than one photo, you can hold down the Control key on Windows or the Command key on Mac and click on Multiple Photos. If you would like to select a range of photos, you can click on the first photo, hold down the Shift key, and click on the last photo, and the whole range of photos will be selected. Once you've selected the images you'd like to upload, click Open, and these images will be added to the upload list. You can upload up to 50 images in one batch to eDesign, so if there are other photos that you would like to include in this batch, you can click Browse again, navigate to a new folder, select those images, and click Open. Those images will then be added to your upload list. If you're ready to upload, you can click the Upload button. If you click the Remove All button, it will remove all of the items that are currently queued for upload. The Cancel button can be used to terminate an upload in progress, and if you just want to close the Import Images dialog box, you can click on the X in the upper right corner. But in this case, we want to upload all of these images, so we'll click Upload. We'll begin to see the progress bar for each image as it's transferred to the eDesign server. If you're uploading lots of photos, it may take a little while. You are able to minimize the Import Images dialog box by clicking on the Minimize button at the top. That will hide the uploader and will allow you to go to other parts of eDesign and continue working even while your upload is taking place in the background. When you return to the library, the Import Images dialog box will still be there and it will show you that the upload has been completed. When an upload is completed, you're presented with this button at the bottom, Tag Photos. If you click Tag Photos, it will show you the batch of photos that you just uploaded and all of the images will be selected. This makes it very easy to go to your Sections panel or your Keywords panel and add Section and Keyword tags. It is best to tag the images as soon as they're uploaded so it's easy to locate these images in your image library. There's an additional tutorial that covers specifics about tagging images with sections and keywords. eDesign's organizational system for images is both powerful and flexible, and it's built around tagging images in the library. In this tutorial, we'll look at how you make this happen. There are two types of tags in eDesign, sections and keywords. Section and keyword tags are the organizational tools that will allow you to find the photos that you need when creating the pages of your yearbook. Section tags are a master list of topics created by your advisor and or editors. This master list of topics is used by all members of the staff to organize photos based on the different topics that will be covered in your yearbook. You'll use the section tags to designate the different pages or topics in the yearbook where a photo might be used. Keywords are tags that can be created by any eDesign user. Q 
Keywords are best used to add information that is specific to a particular photo. For example, the names of people in the photo, or the game or class in which a particular photo was taken. Let's now take a look at how you can apply sections and keywords to images. I'm here in the Images section of the eDesign Library. On the right side of the library are the tagging panels, one for sections and one for keywords. The sections list is a master list of topics that is created by your advisor or editors, and it is best used to designate the pages or topics where a photo might be used in your book. For instance, this photo could be used on the swim team spread. But because the swimmer is a junior, we could possibly use the photo in the junior's portrait section where we will have student quotes and profiles. It also happens that this student won a special student athlete award this year, and we might use this picture on the awards and recognition spread. I'll close preview, and with the image still selected, I'll go to the sections panel and check the box beside swim team, beside juniors, and beside awards and recognition. Now when someone searches for any of these section topics in eDesign, this photo will appear. I'll now switch over to the Keywords panel. Keywords are best used to indicate specific information about a photo. In this case, I want to indicate the student's name and the swim meet in which the photo was taken. You will notice that there's already a pretty large list of keywords here. These are keywords that have been applied to other images in the library. If the keyword I wanted to apply was already in the list, I could just check the box to apply it. If you're not sure if your keyword has already been used, you can start typing it in the text field at the top and eDesign will start filtering the list. For instance, if I type in the first few letters of Caitlin's name, I see that there is a tag for Caitlin Manis, but not for Caitlin Fellows. So I type in her name and click Add. I also want to indicate that this was taken at a swim meet against Central High so that the person writing the caption will have this information. I'll type in versus Central High and click Add. Now when I open the image in preview again, I'll see that the photo has these sections applied and these keywords applied. You don't have to be this thorough when tagging your images, but it is very helpful. Your advisor and editors will set the policies and expectations for how you handle image tagging. At the bare minimum, each image should be assigned to at least one section topic, and it is best if this takes place when the image is first uploaded. Let's take a look at that now. I'm here with an image upload in progress. When the upload is complete, this button will appear, Tag Photos. When you click Tag Photos, eDesign will show you the photos that you just uploaded and all of them will be selected. This makes it easy to apply at least one section tag to the images that you just uploaded. For this example, I'll click on Basketball Junior Varsity. If the photos that you uploaded do not all belong to one group, you can click to select individual photos. If you hold down the Control key on Windows or the Command key on Mac, you can click on multiple photos to select them. Or you can click on one photo, hold down the Shift key, and click on another photo, and the range of photos will be selected. In this way, you can quickly apply at least one section tag to the images that you upload. It should always be your habit to tag the images that you upload with at least one section tag when they are uploaded. The tutorial on searching and filtering images will show you how you can put these section and keyword tags to work when making your pages. And that's the basics of tagging images in eDesign.